Hey guys and welcome back to another video on our channel. In this video I'm going to show you my top 5 Minecraft Bedrock 1.16 working redstone clocks that will give you a very high advantage in your survival world with redstone techniques. So if you like this kind of content then please hit the like button right now, subscribe to our channel, this would mean very very much to us and then we can start with the video. So the first clock I want to present you is a very simple clock that uses observers and a piston to shut the clock off. What you need for this are two observers, one lever and one sticky piston, of course one item or block what you want to power. So this clock is used for being just simple, so if you don't have that much items you just need two observers. If you flick this lever here then the clock starts and give you a constant redstone signal output. If you flick the lever again, then the clock stops and you can start it again if you want to. The second clock I want to show you is a very fast and cheap redstone clock. It just uses three redstone dust, one redstone comparator, one block of your choice and of course one lever to flick this on and off. If you flick the lever, then you see that it has a very fast redstone output. How you build this is very simple. You grab yourself the items, place down your redstone comparator, place three redstone dust around this, then you just want to make sure that you have this clicked once, so this redstone torch at the middle is glowing. Then you want to grab your block and your lever to shut this off. I shut this redstone clock off and then you place your block and anywhere on top of this block or at the side you place a lever or whatever you want to shut this on and off and then as you can see the clock starts running. The next clock is to automatic dispense items out of a dispenser or a dropper. How this works is pretty simple. This redstone comparator reads how much items in this dispenser are. If there is one item then this will get powered and the signal goes back to the dispenser and the item is fired out. So these are the items, 5 redstone dust, 1 block of your choice, 1 comparator, 1 redstone repeater and of course 1 dispenser. If you want to you can take your other redstone input block and just put it at the side of this and you will get a redstone signal at this block whenever an item is in this dispenser. So how you build this is very simple, you just place your dispenser, then you want to place a comparator behind this, make sure it's not glowing so it is off and then take a redstone repeater on zero ticks, you take your redstone dust and just place it around this so it is back at this comparator, place another block at the side just to get the signal back to the dispenser again. Now is one item in this, then it gets dispensed if there are more items or the items get dispensed out too. How this works with the note block is very simple. Whenever an item is in this dispenser, this clock will go on and just gives a signal to this note block. And you can use this for anything of storage systems or wherever you want to. The next clock, so the fourth I want to show you, is a clock where you can time the output. So as you can see it uses hoppers, pistons and comparators and these are the items you want to have. Two blocks of your choice, two hoppers, two pistons, two redstone dust, two comparators, one redstone block, one lever and these are the items. So if you want to you can use sticky pistons too. So how this works is very very simple. If you flick the lever then you will see that whenever this redstone block is next to this redstone input block, so the note block, then it has a redstone signal and just powers one time. If you flick this off, then this is off and as you can see here, there are items in that hopper. If this hopper has any items in two and the redstone comparator gives the signal to this redstone dust and powers this piston, then it pushes the redstone block back again, so it powers this hopper all the items flow from that hopper in that hopper 
and this is the process so if you put more items into this I can just grab me a few more items then you will see that the delay is longer too so these are 14 levers 14 items and as you can see it has a very longer duration to power this note block the last clock I want to present you is a piston clock for trident killers so you can use this in mob farms or something else. How this works is very simple. It uses one trident, four observers, four hoppers, four pistons and of course four redstone torches. If you flick this lever then you will see that this will spin infinitely. And if we take our trident and just throw it in this machine then you will see that this item just spins around you and if you just take a spawn egg like a zombie then you will see that this zombie or zombie horse gets damage if it would be in this thing so you can take just blocks put them around so the mobs can't flow out and if you have done this you can spawn your mobs or if you have a mob farm these mobs spawn automatically and then they will get killed by this trident killer and I think this is very practical. You just have to make sure that they can't flow out or make something like these buggy things. So guys, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you with redstone mechanics. If you like this kind of content, as mentioned, please hit the subscribe button right now and comment down below if you have some questions or some video suggestions and then we will see us in the next video.